Hey everyone, it's the Trash Can Man here, and I kind of wanted to do another Boost Red video to go a little bit more into um, detail about um, the service here. So as you can see, I have the uh, website pulled up here, and there's two main ways you can really like access everything. You can access it through the website here, and there's also a desktop app down here you can download, which will allow you to you know, have you know, better access and uh, access everything faster, I guess. Um, but here, I kind of wanted to show you all the games I have access to on here. I have my Steam account linked up. So these are the games that allows me to play. Obviously, not every single game from my Steam library is on here. But, um, you know, if you're thinking about the service and want to give it a try, before you do anything, I recommend checking their, their uh, speed tester here. Give it a click there. And this will really let you know if this service will work for you or not. You can kind of see where I am in the world. Boom, there's a, there's a machine right over there. I think that's in Vancouver, Canada or something. Um, but as you can see here, it says I should do great. Now, one thing I have noticed is it really depends on where it connects you to. So like, see, there's this connection up here, but it might connect you somewhere like over here. It's just whatever virtual machine opens up that you can get into. Um, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So of course, because this one is so close to me, I'm going to have really good speeds and everything like that. But just be aware you might not get that super close connection. You might get something over in the middle of the country which might be a little bit more laggy. So why don't we play a game? Why don't we play... I'll install it. I play Helldivers. Okay, you see I'm in line. There's a queue system for uh, getting in. Uh, I'll give you, I'll let you see kind of how long it takes to connect and everything like that. It can take a little bit of time. You can um, subscribe and it'll uh, put you in the top of the line and, you know, things like that. There's ways you can kind of like get around it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Bad accept. I want to turn on... Statistics. So that way you can keep an eye in the corner of the screen here and see what my bitrate, FPS, and latency is. Now hopefully those will all stay good, but you, you really never know. It really depends on what kind of servers you, you get connected to. So loading into my Steam account. And like I said, it, it can take a little bit of time to get into the game. Uh, accept. Close. 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 So. Otherwise, I mean, having some time with the service. Uh, when I first started, I really wasn't super sure about it or how well it was going to work. But having spent probably six, seven hours playing games on it, I got to say it works pretty well. Like, I was expecting a lot more lag and a lot more input delay. And, of course, I did get that when I ran it off Wi-Fi. But, again, I am pretty far away from my modem. I'm on my desktop right now. English US. Yes. English US. Yes. Um, let's see, where was I? Um, yeah, I am pretty far away, about 50 to 60 feet away. Through, uh, in another room with a closed door. Yada, yada. Um, subtitle mode, text to speech, off, subtitle size, medium, subtitle mode. It's fine. Just to talk. Crossplay, uh, brightness, uh, turn it up a little bit. Let me continue. Anyway, so if you're running off Wi Fi, which 
I wouldn't recommend. I mean, if you're pretty close, it works okay. It's not too bad. But if you're far away, it's it's not even worth it, in my opinion. Like, you'll have so much lag, so much stutter, so much um input lag. It's It's pretty unplayable. So, with that in mind, if you can use a Ethernet cable to be hooked up directly, you're going to have a much better time with this. It's going to be so much better. Continue, 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 continue. I have not played Helldivers in quite a while. Alright, so, runs pretty well. My latency is pretty good. There is not a whole lot of input lag, just a, maybe a little tiny bit. Um, I've noticed that as the longer you play, the better it kind of gets. So we'll keep that in mind. Let me see what kind of gun do I want to use. Uh, I like it sick. And that's the other thing. Um, I'm sure you can change this, but if you hit escape, then it takes you back to this menu. Kind of annoying. I'm sure you can change it. I'm probably like right here or something, but it's something to keep in mind. All right, let's get into a game. Galaxy remains in jeopardy. Let us join the fight. What a challenge. Mm. They would stand hard. Ally coordinates locked. The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Initiating That's right, democracy the officer. The Urson Sand System. the laser. Yeah, there's a horrible laser. You and shield pack. Okay. I'm curious to see how it's going to do with like a bunch of enemies on screen. I wonder if that's going to impact things at all. Of course, I want to see how long this loading screen will take. It's a little choppy. But it's pretty choppy for me in game too during these loading screens. Played off of my uh, my hard drive anyway. Okay, you know, that wasn't too bad at all. So the input lag is definitely there. But what I noticed in um, the first Descendants is it kind of went away the longer I played. these guys. See what they're up to.
but you know, it, it seems feels like it's smoothing out a little bit. It's one of the kind of things I was wondering. With, like a bunch of like enemies and a lot of things going on, like how's that gonna do? Fusion core there. Oh. Yeah, he walked in front of my fire. That's on him. We should probably get out of here. I'm bad at heat management. Sorry, I'm not talking so much. I'm really trying to focus. Stop wasting all my rockets. I guess that has been a long time since I've played this game. Okay. So, so far... So far, the input lag and the stutters have been not so bad. I mean, when I kind of kicked up there, it got a little bad. Not really that bad. It was, it was way more noticeable. I should have more rockets. My grenade button. I don't remember what I put my grenade button to. Huh. I'll figure that out later. We don't have a lot of time left. We gotta extract. We gotta get out of here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Get up here, dudes. We gotta get out of here. But overall, I mean, they still got some work to do. I think they definitely need more servers around. Because, you know, if there's only one server close to you, and you're not able to get a connection to that one, you're definitely gonna have a lot more latency and a lot more, a lot more lag. You know, it's kind of like trying to play with people over in England or, you know, across the world. Like, 
they're gonna have good connections, but you're gonna have a lot of lag. Birds. Now, a lot of that was just me being really bad at aiming. Hey, brother, get in here. This is Pelican One, preparing for touchdown. Pelican One, preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Get up here. Just left that guy behind. Yeah, I'd be mad too. But, you know, towards the end there, like when we first got in the game, it was. There was some lag, there was some input delay. But the longer we went on, the better it got. Uh, and the loading screens, at least in this game, weren't too bad. I might pop up some first descendants and we'll see how well that does might do an intercept mission real quick but i mean yeah it it works pretty well i'm impressed i think the desktop app well when i was using it the other day to make that video it worked pretty well it was working better than the the, uh, the browser but right now the browser is just it's killing it Man, that guy is just covered. Alright. So let's go with this and we'll boot up some first descendants and see how well that does. Ooh, okay. So this is kind of what I've been getting quite a bit when I play the first descendants. Um, this connection is obviously not great. That latency is real bad. So we'll see how it goes. Last time this happened, after just a little, little bit of playing, it kind of smoothed and smoothed out. But for those first like 10 minutes, the, it was pretty bad. Of course, we'll show statistics. That latency is disgusting. And this is what I mean, like, I don't know if I I got a connection to a computer that was closer. Well, I, I mean, no, I don't think I did, depending on this latency here, but that's what I mean. I think they need more, um, more virtual machines set up around so you can get connected to one that is closer by. Because the further away you are, the, the worse the latency and the lag's going to be. But sometimes it'll smooth itself out. So we'll do a couple intercept missions. See how it goes. I have a feeling I'm probably going to spawn in dead again.
Oh, there we go. That was quite the loading screen. Let's see. Yeah, input lag is definitely there. Okay, I thought maybe that would allow me to actually use the freaking skip key in game, but I cannot. Okay, so that's something that needs to be changed. I need to really allow you to change that. So now I can't get to my my menu because my the sensitivity is way too high. I don't think there's any way for me to give it a minute I'll go back in um, that is definitely something that needs to be fixed if there is a way to fix it I haven't found it yet um, you need to have that like set to a completely innocuous button that no one ever uses in game because again like I need to get in there I need to change my settings I need to do things like that like that sensitivity was too high I needed to change that and the only way I can do that is by closing the game reopening it so that way I can press O in the main menu there to actually change my some of my settings. And for games like Ready or Not or Call of Duty or things like that, probably not the best to, to play it on this because there there's still input delay and there will be input delay and those like few milliseconds are completely needed in order to play like those twitchy games like that. Again. Okay, there we go. Oh, and you know, and it doesn't save your settings either. Like I wish it would just use your the settings that you have already, you know, set like in game, like off of Steam itself. Like when you play it off of you know your hard drive, you, you get what I'm saying. I wish it would use those settings. If it doesn't, you gotta change them every single time. Bit of annoying. Bit of an annoyance. Another thing I forgot to mention in my uh, quick little review was that that ultimate package they have is a coming soon thing. It's not available right now. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So that's something that'll be coming eventually. And hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on that and test it out. But yeah, that's my biggest gripe so far with it is escape opening up this menu that's it's so annoying if i figure out a way to change it i'll let you guys know but so far i i haven't seen it and it, it's yeah something that really needs to be fixed right here we are in game okay that's better Let's open up my map and an intercept mission. Yeah, I know about these. I think you can do things there. Right. See how long this lens screen takes. Last time it's forever. shot up there for a second. Oh, here we go. And the mission's already done. We did it. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't have to do any of the work. Let's see what we get from this. Oh, nothing. Alright, let's go back. I'll be in and we'll run that back. So, you know, holding screen, 
can be a bit of an issue. Like, I didn't get to have any of the fun there. It is what it is. I mean, hey, that's not too bad, especially if you're trying to grind, I guess. It's having the enemy dead and just pick up the rewards by the time you load in. And I know this game has notoriously long loading screens, especially if you're not using an SSD. Like my friend Mikey, he had this, uh, he had the first Ascendance installed on his hard drive. His hard disk drive, and man, it took him... Oh, so long to load into the game. So, so long. Which didn't make sense because he has SSDs, but... Eh, he's not the smartest sometimes. With this, though... I really don't know what the reasoning for this is. Maybe it's just it has trouble loading first, the, you know, the first time. But we'll pop into this mission again real quick, just to show you that it should load faster. I should actually get the fight this time. So that's my other grape. I mean, oh, excuse me, loading screens seem to take forever. I'll do some more testing with other games, but at least with this game, the first ascend is it's it, it takes a while. And again, it could be just because this game has notoriously long loading screens. I don't really have this issue when I play it straight off my SSD. Um Oh well, yeah, I mean Yeah. And there we go. Some bitch. He's raging. Save me! Yes. 
And there was a little stutter there. Oh god. So, you know, after the first load, it gets a lot better. Right, let's see if I get anything good. Nope. Okay, and that's kind of... But there's my in-depth look at it. I mean, it does okay. It's it's not perfect by any means. Um, it's nice if you're playing co-op games or single-player games. It's fine, but if you're trying to play very competitive multiplayer games, the stutters, the input lag, that kind of stuff, you know, it'll definitely hold you back a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you don't want to have to deal with updates or having to re-download games that you all of a sudden have a, a interest to play again, this is a great service. You just link all your accounts to it. You have your entire library over different services all in one place. Um, yeah. So overall, I like it. I know that it'll prove over time. I know it'll get better. Um, as for right now... I'd say definitely just, you know, stick to single player games and co-op games for sure. And with that, this has been the Trash Man, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.